Oh, we got another thing to fix around the house. And uh, we got my dryer quit working. And my wife was like, please fix the dryer. I can't wash the clothes and I'm not made for hanging the clothes out on the line. <laughs> So this is a, a wiring diagram that came with it it's in there and we are an electric dryer and I need to check all the safeties and figure out what's going on. The model is, it's a roper. I don't know what the model is. The make of the roper, but I'm not sure on the model itself. Let's see if it says it on here. It does not say. got it from Lowe's. Let's see. It's been a good dryer. My suspicion is that the timer or maybe one of the contacts inside the timer is bad. But we'll go through and check uh, all the safeties. Make sure that the heating element's good. Uh, this is the on and off switch. We can check that And there's also a thermal safety a couple of clicks on So we'll check we'll take those off of there and see what's going on All right, I'm gonna pause it while I take this back off All right, that safety's closed Safety's closed. Uh, and we got one up here up top. Let's see what we got. Here. Safety's closed. And what else here? So we know the safety is closed. I check to make sure that the heat heating element is closed. Shut this to here. The heating element's good. So now what we need to do is we need to look at timer switch. So we're gonna put it into the position and check because it, she says she puts an auto on the timed. I guess it's timed regular. So we should be closed between C and A and C and B. C and A, C and B, and it's like T and F. All right, so we'll check that. And that is here. Let me put this on timed. Okay, we're on time.
checking the, the dryer, baby. C, C and B were closed. We should be closed on A and C. T and F. Where's T and F at? This. T and F. These two right here. T and F is closed. So we're not closed on A and C. All right, let's try a different one. What's another one that's A and C? Uh, let's see. We could go with. Let's try push if I push. Control switch works. switch work. Let's try a different mode. Very dry. Very dry. Should be C and A, C and B. So the same one. Nothing on the A and C. We got C and B. Also, no, don't say C and H. Let's see. If, yeah. There's C and H. Let's see if C and H ever comes together. Yes, there's C and H, C and H. And that's on very dry, automatic. You dropped your thing. Yeah, so everything's working except for C and, C and A. So we're gonna have to change this timer. All right. This is orangey. Yeah, those are called water nuts. I didn't know that. Yeah, those came out of my meter bag. Yep, that's what they're called. Okay, we'll have to order a timer. Alright, see y'all next time. Or we'll, whenever I get the timer. Alright, bye. That's the same part numbers I have. W104363083 Beads and Bravo. Robert Shaw, the one on there, I don't know if you can see it, let's see, it just says, and this says, just a different brand, Robert Shaw's pretty good brand, uh, both of them made in Mexico, so, and the, the little thing, they sent, uh, they sent an actual new thermal fuse as well, so, I'm gonna check this, let's see what this, what it does, what it reads compared to what mine, mine checked out to be. Let's see. Same eight ohms. Let me check this one down here. Check it. I don't need to replace it. I'll just save it as a spare, I guess. I think what happens is these things go out if if your dryer vent gets full of lint. That's the same ohm, so I'm not gonna change this. I'll just keep it as a spare. I'll put it up in here in the back, wrap it up, 
Okay, so we got that. Uh, now, let me set y'all right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put this. I'll put it right here with these instructions with the wiring diagram. The spare part. Okay. Ground. Should go get my needle nose, huh? I don't think I need them no. Pop this off. Let's see if I can just pull it off of here. Get it off. X, T, and F. I think that's it. I think it, with the S and T2, I bet that's for a buzzer. Different models. Alright, that's on there. Let me put this back on. Let's try it out. Put an amp draw on it. Check our amps. And then we'll push it a little bit more. A little bit more. Another. Alright, go ahead and hit the start button. 
Oh yeah, we got amp drill now. 24 amp. What about the time? I don't know what what position I'm in. I know, put it on the time to auto, like the 60 minutes. Is that where I'm at? Okay. You can try a different mode. Yeah, I can smell it too. That's deep. That's big stick. All right, well, let me put all this back together and put the dryer vent back on. All right, and that'll do it. And that's fixed that. One thing down, step <laughs> Always fixing stuff. That's why I'm fixing it, Dad. <laughs> all right, see y'all next time.